Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 126Q tutorial. Um, we're going to call this one My Filtered, which if you've been following along, I'm sure this one's going to be pretty self-explanatory. That's why it's going to be pretty short. Um, I'm going to say follow the same principle here, actually the almost exact same user interface. Let's do this. Filtered. Now, um, you're probably wondering why you need a filter and a filtered. Um, the difference is very simple, yet the answer is actually kind of complex. Filter or map, as you know, will return, actually it doesn't return, it modifies your existing collection or your existing sequence, where the plural version of that mapped or filtered will actually give you a new one. And the reason for that is some things are a little bit intensive and you don't want to reinvent the wheel. So if you want to make a new list, you call the plural version of that. Seems like, you know, common sense, but you know, sometimes you got to ask yourself why. Um, it's just one of those niceties that, you know, the good developers have decided to add in and for that I actually thank them because I hate I absolutely just despise writing code for the sake of writing code. Um, let's do this. Meaning, you know, if I've got to do some function over and over and over and it's got some for loop and all this other nonsense, I mean, why do I got to do that? Why couldn't they just add that into the class? So I love things that have these little, little, you know, niceties about them. All right, so same principle. We're going to say, we're going to shake things up a bit here and let's say if name dot to lower equal Bob or name dot to lower whoops equal and we'll say Heather then we'll return to otherwise we're just gonna return false so that's our basic filter and you know and you can do pretty much anything inside of that filter we're gonna make a Q's Ah, once again, I get ahead of myself here. We gotta go back and add our concurrency to our project. That actually adds in the cute concurrent. And then add in our include. Otherwise, we're gonna have all sorts of headaches when we go to build this. Now we should be in business. I think I've done that almost every single cute concurrent tutorial, and it's probably driving you guys nuts. Alright, so qstring list. And we're going to call it people. We'll say people. We'll say mark. Uh, we got to add in Heather. Whoops. And we'll say Bob. And one more, just for giggles, Chad. Then we're going to UI dot list widget dot clear and UI list widget two dot clear. I mean, very very similar. I'm really trying to hustle through this because I don't want to waste your guys' time. And then we're going to just uh, update the existing. We'll say UI. Actually, we can wait. Let's get to the heart of the matter here. Q string list, and we'll call this allowed. These are the people allowed to my party. Cute concurrent. And we're going to call blocking filtered the plural version of that. And we want the sequence and the keep functor. The sequence, of course, is the people. And the keep functor is whoopsie, dialog. Dialog, here we go. To filtered. Now, because we're kind of reiterating over things that we've already talked about, and I'm sure this tutorial is not rocket science for many of you out there, um, why do you need these? Why did these even exist? Well, think of it as if like you were going to make a th thumbnail image for every image in a directory. Well, that's going to take time. That's why the mapped function exists. So you're going to give it a list of file names, and then it's going to go through and or actually you give it a list of images, not file names, but you know what I mean. You could give it a string list and then actually make the files on the disk or whatever, but um, that's going to take time and you want to actually wait 
until it's done. So, so we're going to add the people in the first list, and the second list, we're going to just add the updated allowed list. Um, filtered, however, would be like if you want to, you know, do some sort of processing and filter things out. And I probably should have named that a little bit better. That looks like a variable for a bowling, but um, we could call it a loud list. Let's actually do that. Just because we want to. We want to be accurate here. And the difference, of course, between the plural and non plural is, you know, one returns a list, one doesn't. What? Oh, add items. Derp. I did so good on that. I tried so hard not to misspell it. All right, run this, and boom. The only people we're allowing into our party are Heather and Bob. So that is the cute concurrent blocking filtered. Um, before we end this tutorial, um, I did get an email saying, why am I using blocking? Well, because we haven't yet really touched on the Q Future or the Q Future Watcher, which are coming in future tutorials. That was a bit of a misomer, the future and future watcher coming in the future. That's like if you go back in time and give birth to a child, but he ends up actually being your grandfather. So anyway, that made no sense. Be sure to visit my website, voidrealms.com, for the source code for this and other tutorials. And it's Christmas time, so if you feel like donating, feel free to, but it's under no obligation. That's it. Thanks for watching.